Hi everyone, my name is Aiko. I teach English to people who speak English as a second language. Today, I want to talk about how you can practice your English. This is actually based on my own experience. This is how I practice my English and I, uh, it was really effective and I want to share with you guys today. Uh, so what you can do is to uh, use movies or dramas and what you want to do is uh, just one at a time you you want to pick a movie that you really love and which is pretty recent like you know this is pretty recent you don't want to pick um, movies uh, movie or dramas that's like kind of old the honeymooners this is really classic and great drama but it is um, that the, the English that they use in this um, series is pretty old, um, meaning they use different intonation, different um, rhythm, and also the pronunciation is pretty different, and also the words and the phrases that they use are pretty different. So what you want to do is uh, you want to pick something recent. Also, if you are in the States, you don't want to pick a movie like, you know, English English, right? So if you're in the States, you want to pick a movie that they speak American English. So like this would be this is actually my favorite movie and you know they speak American English. So you know if you like this movie, if you're in the States, this would be a good choice. And what I chose was Friday. <laughs> this is actually um they're in a conto, right? Um so Friday, I pretty much remembered all the lines. Uh, so, you know, this is actually um, it helped me a lot. Uh, I don't really recommend this to um, English learners because they speak, you know, they use a lot of slang, you know, they use bad words that you don't want to use in business, you know, stuff like that. But I really love this movie and it was really fun learning English with this. So. You know, you want to pick something that you love. Um, and what you can do is, actually, I will show you five steps. Okay, so the one is you want to dictate. So the first step is dictation. So you want to listen to the audio and just one phrase. And then you stop it right there. And then you want to dictate what the person says. So that is the first step. And you want to do this over and over to make sure that, that you know, you are um, trying hard to get the, what the person says. And then, uh, so that was dictation. And the second step is to check uh, with the caption. So for the dictation, you do not want to put caption, like so subtitles. You don't want to do that. And uh, uh, when you check it, you want to put the caption and then make sure that the, your um, dictation was correct. And the third, uh, third step is the uh, listening. Because when you see the caption, you probably you're gonna be surprised that like, oh, this is what the person says. How come I did not get it? Because I know the words, I know the phrase really well, you know. So the thing is, when you write down uh, English words and stuff, we have space, right? We put space in order for us to be able to read it uh, smoothly, right? But when we speak uh, English, all the sounds connect. Right, so that that's why, that's why like we have a hard time listening to other people and understand because it sounds different from what we learn, you know, you know, writing, and also the clear speech, uh, you know, like oh, what are you doing, you know, stuff like that. But no one says like that in the states. People say, oh, what are you doing, right? So it sounds really different from what we've learned. So. That's one thing that you can do uh, in this practice that you will learn uh, the real pronunciation. So, um, and then that's the third step, right? So you, you listen to it and then make sure that you get the rhythm and the uh, intonation and the speed. And then the fourth step 
is the um, shadowing. So, so if when the person says starts talking in a movie, you want to shadow it. Like you want to like, you know, start right after the person sa starts saying. So that is the shadowing. And uh, uh, finally, so by the time you get to the the fifth step you will be able to like speak at the same time so the speaking the the final step is speaking so when the person says you will start saying the line at the same time and it was really effective and i wanted to share uh, with uh, you guys about this um, so if you want to uh, practice english effectively this would be really good so Please um, let me know if you tried and then you, th you thought it was effective or if you have any suggestion, uh, if you have any comments, please let me know. And in my lessons, I teach uh, English pronunciation, but not just pronunciation, but I usually teach rhythm and intonation and the stress patterns. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.